Hi, my name is Bill Ray. I'm with Alumni Financial Services. I've been in the business and the finance world for well over 20 years. The question you ask is how to make a monthly budget circle graph. That's an excellent question. With today's technology, if you're using PowerPoint or any of the uh, business programs out there, should be fairly easy and obvious. When you're creating a budget, it's going to automatically direct you into creating a circle graph. However, let's assume you're not. First of all, let's drop back to what is a budget. A budget is simply listing your expenses and listing all your income. Now, depending upon what you do, whether it's personal or business, these will vary. But generally, you have things such as rent and mortgage and your expenses, such as your telephones and your electric. Also, on every budget, make sure that you go ahead and budget for entertainment. Everybody likes that. Income, how are you getting your money? Is it created by commissions, sales? Um, you know, are you, are you getting government checks? Whatever your income is, you want to total your income, total your expenses. Ideally, you want your income higher than your expenses. So, how do we make a pie chart? Well, that's the easiest. All you simply need to do is on a chart like this, or on your computer, or on a piece of paper, there's your circle, okay? Our rule of thumb is very simply this. Half of your income should be going towards your needs your absolute have to fixed expenses, okay? Then you want to have 30% going to your wants. That's obvious. 20%, and actually I probably should have this a little, dip, a little backwards here, 20% should be going to reducing any debt and or investing, whether it's your personal or your company. And that is a circle graph. These are our recommendations, 50% to needs, 30% to want, 20% to investment and or debt reduction. Do understand the difference between wants and needs and you're on your way. Understand the difference between a true asset and what most people think an asset is and a liability. My name is Bill Ray. I'm with Alumni Financial Services and as always we're here to help you build true wealth.